bop, bop. That show. Hey, welcome back to that show. Sorry, I was checking my phone. We have another episode for you guys lined up for today. We know it's been two weeks since we were here. We're sorry. A week long. Yeah, but it's been two weeks since, since the we last, last episode. Ah, yeah, because right. last week there wasn't one, and the week before was two weeks ago. So, logically. So, and as you can see, we don't have Basti here today, so we have Luis Boo! with us. Boo! Yay! The At the same time. Yeah. Abu yay. Yeah. Abu yay. Still yeah. haven't gotten over what happened to Starwood. Oh, yeah, Starwood. Starwood. Close down! Our friends in Starwoods got busted. I hope that wasn't because of us. No, 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 no. They were saying that the the the, the, the cops were like, it, it was an expensive operation. It took them like uh, thirty thousand bucks to, to operate the whole, whole thing, thing and like do a bust on Starwood. And I'm thinking, shit. Yeah. Somebody got a lap dance. <laughs> 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 a really yeah. expensive lap dance. Before they left. <laughs> or, but say, apparently, it, it costs about 30,000 bucks to okay. do the whole bus if operation. If you were doing the bus, would you stop to get a lap dance before you... Yeah, but before I close the whole yeah. thing down, just yeah. so I'm sure yeah. that... Uh, would you go in under... Oh, no, it must have been like they went in on like a sting. Yeah. You know? yeah. Like they so were all getting lap dances. They were so all there remember. as like uh, pretending to be customers. Run up like yeah. a 30,000 yeah. peso bill. Yep. And but, then bust. But they yeah, were saying like, they were up. Oh, okay, done. Right. All right. They were saying that um, they offer sex now. And this is like allegedly. Yeah. All everything's Everything like a, alleged. And Sid didn't know. I <laughs> I got nothing, man. Uh, all I got was a lap dance. The, ev- crazy the only thing I got was like uh, a happy new year, but apparently yeah. wasn't that happy. No. Not happy enough. Could have been happier. Could have been a happier new year. Right. It's so terrible. It's no. like a human trafficking thing, and we're like, <laughs> man, we no. No, but the, those girls were making a lot of money. All yeah, I'm saying they is weren't that making a lot of money. They didn't it's, seem like they were unhappy. No, it didn't seem. And they had a different. They, well, from their point of view. Well, yeah, we were we they were had chatting like, them up. Yeah, they had their own spots and, and shit. Like they weren't like trapped in. In like a, a den somewhere and, um, with like seven, ten, twenty people yeah. in one place. Like they were well off. They were living in like a, La Vida Loca. Uh, yeah, or a condo. The fort and shit. Yeah, something like that. I don't know, man. I mean, they were really drunk when we saw them, so they could have told you anything they wanted. They're not gonna sit there and be like, "I came from Russia and I'm they scared." Me. Like, no, of course not. They're gonna get fired. Mm-hmm. Like, fired. Well, you're fired. True. That is not sweet nothing. So, uh, right, no, Vaya con Dios uh, to S- Sasha and Tatiana. Uh, Roxy, <laughs> our friends from Starwood. Uh, oh, man. Uh, welcome back to that show, guys. Yep. Of course, another idiotic episode with the three of us this time. And uh, today we're going to start off our show with our first segment of the day, which is going to be our Ask FM. Great. Yeah. Uh, don't forget, send us your questions, ask.fm slash that show ph. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We need more questions because. Really? Yeah. People aren't sending questions. We haven't been on, so people. Freaking idiots. Don't so know. people don't know to ask us questions. Yeah, so ask us questions. I will answer anything. You, you will what, also though? super anything. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> We've okay. also gotten more Twitter followers. We have like a thousand Twitter really? followers now. Yeah, we <laughs> have like, yay, a thousand. <laughs> Good job, guys. So yeah, it's like real come. people, man. It's not like <coughs> fake Twitter accounts. That's not like my mom making right? like 700 Twitter accounts yeah, just no, to follow. No. Yes, it's totally fake. So All there right. you go. All right, here Whatever. we go. So if you want to write us on Twitter, it's also at That Show PH. Facebook page is That Show PH as well as the Ask FM, right. which is That Show PH, PH ba- as well. PH balance for your vagina. Virginia. Virginia. Okay, here we go. First question is, hey guys, if you became a porn star, what would your porn name be? Are we what talking like the, the ga- like the like your first pet? Plus the name of your street. Did, did we or answered something like the similar back. No, that was yeah, like a superhero right? porn. Like if you were a superhero porn star. That's uh, true. That was different. No, I'm pretty sure we it? did this before. Really? Yeah. What was oh. yours again? Uh, I, f- I forget, man. I could come up with something new. Yeah. If we go with that formula of the first name of your first pet, or the name or the of name your of first, first pet, pet, and then the, the name of the street that, that you, you live first on. lived on, or the first one you can remember. Jeffrey Abad Santos. <laughs> That's pretty good. Jeffrey Jose Abad Santos. Jeffrey Abad Santos. That's my uh, porn star name. What's a good porn movie name? 
For Jeffrey Abad Santos? Yeah, it was a good point. Jackhammer Jeffrey Abad Santos. <laughs> Jeffrey Jackhammer Abad Santos. <laughs> Pinoy Starring porn star. In his new pornographic film, Jeffrey Abad Santos. From Seiko Films. <laughs> <laughs> if I was going to do that, my name would be Bunny Mansfield. That's Bunny? pretty good. That, Bunny. that is a pretty good point. Bunny. Bunny is a good name. Huh? I was like a two year old with a rabbit. What the heck am I going to call it? Bunny. Yeah. Yeah, what's your porn star name? Odie yeah. Third Street. Odie Third Street? <laughs> what's your second street? <laughs> uh, Odie East Maya. No. East Maya? Yeah, no. Odie Maya sounds yeah, Odie all right. Maya. Odie, Odie Maya. Maya. I don't know. Odie I, I, I kind of like Odie Zerics. Third Street. So Zerix. In the elevator with Aubrey Miles. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> 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 I, I, Aubrey. I watched <laughs> all your oh, movies. <laughs> I really did. Especially yeah, that, that tricycle one. Yeah. I what tricycle watched. one? Ooh, she got, she banged some dude in a tricycle. Oh, I never saw that one. I might need to look it up. All right. Hi, Oz. Second question. My boyfriend takes a lot of selfies. Gay! Gay! <laughs> He takes more selfies than me. Is this normal? No! no! Oh my goodness me. Okay, number one, this whole selfie trend needs to end. Guys, don't selfie. And guys don't hashtag their selfies. Oh my gosh. Oh, me. my favorite selfie from like the Le Buraka thing. <laughs> oh my gosh. The Dude, abs ones? Yeah. No, the one guy was, uh, did a selfie and he said, hashtag outfit no repeat. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then he labeled all of, all of the little things he was wearing that day. I saw that. By the way, you're a total girl. <laughs> what the fuck? Why are you taking selfies of their abs? You know, men Selfie. go La to the Baraka. beach and wear the exact same board shorts for three days. That is what yeah. men do. I like men who take selfies. Guys, you don't pose. You don't pout. You don't. I don't selfies. What? You don't do duck, duck face. face, right? I actually asked the photographer. One of the like most professional photo photographers in this country like is it difficult to photograph new models nowadays because of all this selfie crap and he's like oh my goodness me models come in here and then they're like <laughs> like this and it's like why and, and they expect ex they expect the photographer <laughs> to take it from like yeah. an angle right? <laughs> like, that's like way way there the where's your stick where's your selfie, where's your selfie stick? stick what what's it called a monopod I don't know, it's it's a selfie selfie stick. Stick. yeah where's your selfie, where's your stick? selfie stick guys do not take selfies. No. You do not take selfies in the morning when you wake up. Uh, you don't With take the pillows. Yeah. Please, Just selfie. woke up, rough night, whatever. <laughs> whatever, you know what? Oh my this. gosh, you want to uh, know what though? My right. ex-boyfriend, the famous one that who will not be named, does a lot of selfies. Oh. It's so weird. Does a lot Men of selfies. Men do not selfie. Men should not selfie, guys. Remember? That guy that I went uh, on a date with and he selfied himself. He took a picture of me and him oh, and yeah. then he selfied himself. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. what's yeah, going so on <laughs> right now? My man, don't like, selfie. Picture no. tayo. That's, okay, wait. Shut Weird. Hashtag weird. weird. Mm. Hashtag yeah. weird. Hashtag on a date. <laughs> 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 By myself. With my poggy self. I right. caught my girlfriend looking at hot girls on Instagram. Yes. Does that mean she's bi? Yes. If she is, how do I convince her to have a threesome with me? Show no, me. it doesn't necessarily mean that she's bi. It of means course that maybe it she does. Why is she checking them out like a guy? Because maybe she's looking at their bodies. Some girls like to have inspiration. You know that? A fitspiration. Yeah. Hashtag fitspiration. Yes, fitspiration yeah. or thin inspiration. You know, okay. one of those things yeah. could possibly be it. But if she is, why don't you just ask her? I don't understand, dude. How do you ask your, your girlfriend if she's bi? Babe, are you bi? You just go straight. Like baby Straight up. Hey, hey, baby, how come you're looking at hot girls? You like that, huh? Because <laughs> I got no. a friend. Yeah, if the response is, no, you're so bastos, then you know she's not bi at all. But if she's like, hee hee hee, I'm Nano, then maybe you have a chance. Potentially. Yeah. Right? Potentially. Yeah. Right? But don't bring a couple of girls home just yet. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> like, she comes look home. Look who I found. <laughs> no, you do not hire a girl off the street no. and then expect your girlfriend to do it with her. And Automatically. don't try to do it with her best friend. That's a dumb friend. Or her sister. No, not what? her sister. Or her Never sister. Did. Although I have oh! who would do it with their sister. Okay, if you're doing it with your sister, do you kiss your sister? Do you touch your Ew, sister? Dear. You make, you make eye contact with your sister? You make them kiss. Yes. Like those twin pornos, they yeah. make out with each yeah. other, right? You make that them lick each other down there. It's like 69, you watch it, and then you like. 
on their face. You know, it's that in uh, in in mom and, and young girl pornos. Yeah, I like those. Mom <laughs> and young girl pornos. There are the, what? There are mom and young girl pornos with a, with a basically with, with the like guy comes yeah. in and then he teaches uh, the 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 mom teaches her how to write yeah. a dick. Oh my god. That's how it works out. Those are oh those god. are pretty yeah. good pornos. <laughs> I have never that's a good story. Never interesting. Never it's always interesting. I it's a good story. Google porn and that's it. I don't know anything yeah, about they, porn. Yeah. So. You, you type on Google porn and that's yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. What? We had that, this discussion that's, that's, already. That's how you get so viruses. Lame. Yeah. But this is how I found those guys yeah, sucking off other guys, remember? And I was yeah. like, how did I find this porno? This is not what I was looking uh, for. Lame. Absolutely yeah. no idea. Next question, please. Yep. Sib, whatever happened to the Sib show on Jack TV? Laugh, Tripion, and I vaguely remember you saying on that show, na bakla lang and nananood ng <laughs> <laughs> Next question. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you were like so emo on that show. I, no, I was totally not emo. I was like. I was kind of punk rock. I was kind of crazy. Kind of punk rock. Yeah, yeah, you were like angry back I was then. a horrible host. I was always <laughs> drunk. You had that bowl cut. I had a bowl cut. I was cussing. I remember that episode you went to a rally. Oh my so. God. That was horrible. <laughs> That was horrible. We were on, uh, what's that, Commonwealth? Yeah. yeah. I actually really enjoyed watching you on that show. I Lies! I nobody, like this guy. He's nobody angry. watches He's that. He's fun to watch. And nobody. that's why when you came on MTV, it was like, oh, it's Angry Guy from Jack TV. Do you guys want me to uh, release everything on YouTube? Because I got it on DVD. Do it. <laughs> You should, you should. I you think I should? We should get clips on this show. I, we Can should we? so do that. We should bring back the archives. We have to get per permission Fuck from Jack. No. It doesn't come from me. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, NMF would get in trouble, not us. Yeah. Me. Don't you think it's funny, though, that before the MTV VJ hunt, you and I never spoke to each other? Never. I've, uh, yeah, I was like a total rookie. I just had big balls. And actually, like, even until the very end of the VJ hunt, Sib and I didn't say a word we to didn't, each other. Uh, we didn't decide yeah. we were friends until we were both Until you won winners. VJs. Like, I'm, I'm not in the business of making friends yeah. here. I'm in the yeah, business you of winning. Win. win that bad. Yep. And then we can be friends. Yeah. When we were both in the competition, though, it was like, no need to talk to you, honey, sorry. And we were both like that to everybody, actually. But now look at us. We're clearly mm. friends. Not my friend. And then we're friends. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you're a winner? No, I'm only friends with winners. <laughs> Losers don't need them, man. I, I tend to lose your numbers to all the losers. Yeah. <laughs> all right, next question. What do you guys think about Pinoy pride? I really think it's getting to the point now where it's racist. Oh, uh, let's see. In it's boxing debatable. matches, yeah. it's really bad. It's, they're... It's okay up to a certain point, but when you're like Pinoy Pride, Jollibee, Aloha Burger, it's kind of weird, right? I, I, I'm pretty sure in Mexico, they're also dissing Pinoys. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. 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 I think that people only use Pinoy Pride when it's convenient for them. Yeah, yeah. When, it's, when it's something. And I, I really don't like it when, um, when Pinoys like latch onto somebody's success. Yeah, yeah, and it's Pinoy Pride. And it's Pinoy yeah. Pride. Yeah. Right, the Jessica Sanchez girl. Oh, she's Pinoy. Whichever half Pinoy gets on American Dude, Idol or whatever. Dude, she doesn't even yeah. give yeah. a fuck about you. Yeah. yeah. Really. Don't even care about being Filipino. They're just like, right on. yes, Pinoy Pride because we made it. But then if it's like a problem, like if there's something we need to deal with in our country or Hands an off. issue, it's like, oh, I don't know about Pinoy that. Pride. Let's not improve the Philippines and be Pinoy pride because being proud to be yeah. Filipino is supposedly exactly. all the time, right? It's only Pinoy pride when, when it's, it's like good. really convenient. We won the boxing match. Hey, we Pinoy won pride. whatever. Uh, this guy can really skate, gay, but uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, that kid. Yeah, that kid. he's actually pretty good though. He's pretty good. Yeah, yeah then he is kid. good. Yeah. And you know, it but should see, be Pinoy not pride even pride. the Filipino government was supporting exactly. This kid. Where was their Pinoy pride? Hola. Really, exactly. that's not about Pinoy Pride. He was just doing it out of his own motivation. Whatever. He had to mortgage his house to get yeah. there. And also, you know what else is really hypocritical about this Pinoy Pride thing is that every Pinoy thinks that they're ugly. Let's be wider. Let's have bigger noses. Let's be less this. Let's be less that. Where's the Pinoy Pride in that? Like, that's not Pinoy Pride. I don't know about that. What do you think about that? You're all ugly. They're all ugly. You're all so ugly. 
We should totally all be happy. <laughs> see, like yes. seriously, you're not tall enough, so you're not good enough. Like, I want all you girls to go to Cafe Havana and bang a white guy. <laughs> Get knocked up. Yeah. You got a potential oh artista growing in your belly. Yeah. That's sad. All right. Next. Yeah. <laughs> Pinoy pride in the wrong ways, man. Let's all be proud to be Pinoy all the time. How about that? Let's be proud oh, of ourselves. Oh shit! Sib trying the collage thing. Why what? don't Basti and Sib join anyway? We won't see whose dick is whose. Is who's. Sorry, I think you're typo. gonna be able to tell the difference. Well, then have Basti's probably got a whiter dick than mine. Yeah, I don't know. Exactly. Some of these white guys have really dark, dark dicks. Okay. Yeah. Then have Cat guess which is which. I mean, it's gonna be <laughs> fun seeing a bunch of dicks in the <laughs> background, knowing that Basti's and Sib's dicks are in there. Do you guys want to see their dicks? Yeah. No, I don't know. You, you want to see my show. dick? I'll probably Google the dick and then post Sims it. Dick. <laughs> Sims dick uh, would take up us. the entire background. It's so by huge. Itself. It would. Um, problem with me posting my dick on the background is probably somebody would like screen cap this thing and start worshiping my dick in the background. Yeah, it probably not a good idea. Yeah. A cult of Sib's penis would be very dangerous to many. It would people start wearing like um, uh, replicas of my dick as oh. necklaces. Yes, yes. For those would. who are wondering, that collage thing is yeah. Email your dick photos to. Yeah, send it um, over to sibsibulogay at gmail dot com. Yeah. That's an it's actual real, real email, email address. address. That, is, that actually works. It works. I only have like uh, I think five five dick. Yeah, five oh, there five already. Now? I'm not sure because uh, like one of our friends, Prince, sent over like a couple of dicks. Hi, yeah. Prince. Hi, Actually, he messaged us the other day, didn't he? Yeah, he was like, he did, hey, did, he's did, still did. waiting to see his dick on screen. So yeah, he's more. got a <laughs> huge dick. Yeah, yeah he, he got does. a big ass dick. So, you know, like, can we do that though? Can we have a penis in the background and not tell Basti, but have it look like, <laughs> have it look like, <laughs> look like it's elephant? going in its in ear? His ear while we're oh, on the set? So as soon as you come on, it looks like the penis is in his ear. We'd have to ask technical downstairs. Yeah, we'd have to say, Gian, can it's you a big do this for us? Nobody tells him. Nobody tell Basti. And you use Prince's dick. That's a big yeah. dick. That's a big dick. That's it a big dick. Props to you, Prince. I know you're in Africa watching us right now, bro. Good job, man. Good job. Next question, please. No more questions? Uh, oh. Is it okay to lick underarms? Because I saw Mario Osawa do that. Yeah, it's fine. Is... <laughs> It's a little I, salty. Have you ever I licked should. an underarm? No. Never? No, never, ever, ever, ever? Never, ever. Or you're just ashamed to say it? No, no, mm. never, it's, ever. It's weirder for girls than it is for guys, I would think, because there's all that hair that you have to... I have never yeah. licked an underarm. I have kissed an underarm. It's yeah. about the same. But you, like, know, you got your face buried in there. Yeah. All what right. is that armpit bulbul called? Like... What's your armpit? armpit. <laughs> I love that thing. That is like the armpit title of this episode. <laughs> armpit bulbul. <laughs> bul. That's exactly what it is. Seriously. Keeping it classy. If you're licking someone's armpit and he's a guy and he has armpit bulbul, bul, it's nasty. Yeah, you do nasty. yourself a favor and uh, trim, trim it a your, bit. Trim your armpit right? bulbul. Bul. Trim it a bit. If you want your girlfriend to lick your armpit bulbul, bul, I don't moment. think a girl would lick yeah. armpit bulbul. Unless you are Mary Ozawa. Yeah. I don't better. think she would. Okay, yeah. Some girls are into that. I've had my armpit licked before. Uh, you know? and, and we all know who did Man. that. Yeah. Man, what did it feel like? I, I mean, <laughs> it was like in the moment, so it wasn't like weird. But it wasn't, I mean, was it intense? Was it? Yeah, it was like super like, yes, I love the armpit. Yes. You know? yeah. We are talking about my armpit. So, you know, Catalano kitty kitty and all. Yeah, so. she does have nice kitty kitty. But point being, is what it, if there's deodorant? What yeah. if it, there's deodorant? Yeah. There would be a what taste. What if there's deodorant? Like, like I, I guess the best thing to do would be to, for you two to shower first. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Definitely a yeah. good idea. I mean, uh, wha the question was, is it okay to lick armpits? So the answer is yeah. yes. But if it tastes That's nasty, don't blame us. Don't do it. <laughs> really. Bagong basketball si Boy. Oh my God. Oh, man. Paano kung ganun, no? Yun yung obsession niya. Gusto, gusto niya nililik po yung ano. Ano yung second? Bagong buwat si Gagol. Baby, come on. Lit my arm. Bagong si Gagol. Woo! What if that was her thing? What if she was like, Baby, come on, turns me on so much. Lick my armpit right now. Like, and you're in the middle of it. Are you gonna get soft? Are you just gonna go for it? Pwede. What are you gonna do? Pwede. Pwede. I can't. Depende. Who is it? So you've never done it? 
Like like an armpit? It's Amanda Griffin. But she hasn't shaved her pits in a while. And she hasn't used deodorant in a week. Mm. And she hasn't uh, taken Does it lead to something else? Yeah. Doing it? Yeah, you're doing it. But you know, she just hasn't like groomed it. at like all. I like it. I like it. <laughs> I love how everything to do with Amanda Griffin <laughs> is a it's, okay. it's like an automatic kiss. Okay, okay. Almost an automatic kiss. Yeah. It's all <laughs> I will do depraved things. <laughs> For Amanda Really Griffin. bad things. <laughs> all right, next question. Can fat people go skinny dipping? <laughs> <Why not? laughs> Should they is the question. Uh, well, yeah. actually, technically, it depends on how fat they are. If they are obese... If they're like biggest loser fat. What about that fat girl who couldn't get out of bed? She had to roll. Yeah. yeah. Like those If things. it's like that, technically, skinny dipping means you're naked, right? Yeah. But if you're that big, you can't see anything. If you're that big, you, you don't have clothes to wear anyway. You'd probably be wearing like curtains and yeah. like sacks. Moomoos. Or something. something like Moomoos, exactly. Mm. Dust stairs. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Huge dust stairs. You could drown. You could, like, if you're yeah, like yeah. hideously obese. Wouldn't you just float? No. No, you would totally <laughs> sink. <laughs> sink. You got some mass going there. You would totally drown. That's blubber. I think you would drown. Yeah. And would die. you? You think so? Like, if you were like. Like the kind who can't stand up. Like yeah. 500 like, like, pounds. Yeah, 500, 600 pounds. The kind right? of people who would die in bed. Yeah. Gun on. Ooh, no. Yeah. You have to scrub everywhere when they shower. <laughs> you have to lift shit Everything. Up. Just, like, just they got like up. extra joints where there shouldn't be joints. Like, like there's a dick over a dick. Yeah. <laughs> <'Cause there's laughs> like some... you can't find the remote control and it's in their belly. Yeah, it's like your whole there. body looks like a bulldog. Or, or like one of those dogs where you have a to... Sharpe. Yeah, uh, a Sharpay. You yeah, a Sharpay. You have to you look like under a the sharpe. folds of its yeah. skin yeah. and the forehead. But it's fat and yes. you're a person. Fat people can go skinny dipping as Probably long as they can swim. And not advisable. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And not very nice to look at. Yeah. I wouldn't take pictures. please. To Kat, Bessie, and Sib, have you guys ever been hated or physically been judged outside on the streets by a fan that watches the show? And what's the most embarrassing thing a fan has tweeted, emailed, or sent to you? From Prince in South Africa. Yay! Prince! Still waiting to see my dick on your backdrop. See, I told you. He's looking to see his dick on the back. We're going to put it in Basti's ear, Prince. <laughs> We're going to do that for you. Don't worry. Have you ever been... What? Physically been judged physically or hated? Judged. No. Nope. No. Actually, ever... From the show? Yeah. yeah. Because of the show. Yeah. Oh, this show, no. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I've actually been shocked. <laughs> no, no. Not back in your Jack TV days. Dude. Because there was a lot of hate. Some guys wanted to fucking kill me. Yeah. <laughs> I've been choked. Uh, some guy tried to diss me in a club. Almost got into a fight. Crap. Was that Jonathan or you, though? No, no, no. I was, like, totally clean, dude. I was, <laughs> I was like, hey. Sober I was sober, and some guy just wanted to be famous. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but, yeah, you know, I, I get famous. Shot. At the people who have come up to us in the street and be like, oh my god, man, I'm a fan of that yeah, show. Yeah, where were we? That show. one time, and then in there the was Phoenix. A, we were at the Phoenix concert. Yeah. Some kid comes up to us, says he watches the show, and he's like, awesome. all positive shit. We're at the yeah. uh, the license place, get, place, place, getting her license. And yep. This yeah. This guy's like, excuse me, for you, Miss Scott, I watch you guys show, blah, blah, that See? show. See, all yeah, positive yeah. shit. And they're like, so, super happy about it. I'm like, wow, yeah. you're another sicko. Welcome to the club, bro. Yeah. Nice. So apparently we don't get hate because no, of this. We show. get a lot of love. Yeah. Yep. We get a lot of love for being gross perverts. Next. Last question. Oh. That's the last right. question. Oh, oh wait, no, this go. is the last question. Hey, which hey. which do you prefer? A vagina which smells like freshly baked pandasal or freshly cooked white rice, non NFA. Pandasal. Uh, pandasal, bro. Yeah, pandasal. I'm trying to imagine the smell of white rice. It's really no it's it's kind of blandy, right? Yeah. Doesn't vagina already kind of smell like white rice? No! I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no! It's horrible! <laughs> it's one of those things you, you get in your face and it doesn't get off for like a couple yeah. of days. It's when, like when it gets on your, on your upper lip and, you, and you're just like... <laughs> it's like chewing blue cheese and then you don't like have any water to wash it down. I would add too big. <laughs> I'm stuck with this? That's like vagina. I'm kidding. I'm totally kidding. <laughs> All right, guys, we got to go into a break right now. That was our Ask FM segment. We'll be back with, uh, what's our next segment? Uh, we're doing TOT. Yeah, Tale we're doing tape. Tale of the Tape. We'll and maybe Would You back. Rather. Depends. Hi. 
They say nothing in this world is free, and for the most part, that's true. But here at NMF Network, all shows are indeed 100% free. And as an added feature, you have the option to subscribe to all your favorite programs, also at no charge. Why should you subscribe? By subscribing, you no longer have the hassle of delays when you stream the program. You also don't need to keep checking our site to see if your favorite programs are up because they'll automatically be uploaded to your device as soon as it's available. Here's how to do it. First, open iTunes. Your next step, hit the iTunes Store button. A search bar should open up as soon as you do that. Type New Media Factory in the search bar and all your shows should open. Pick the show you like or all the shows you like. And once that opens, hit the subscribe button. And that's it, you're in. All shows will now be automatically downloaded to your device. Um, two girls, one cup. I heard there was this video going around on the internet some years ago. Um, because we're two girls, me and Nicole, and a cup where we get all our topics from the cup. It's not lustful. <laughs> the show is about shoes, bags, friends, girlfriends, gossip, current events, everyday life. I don't know. Dicks on my head, apparently. <laughs> and the dick on Nicole's head. Well, we got a segment called Let's Be Honest. Would you do whoever? Would you do Max Eggermans? I would. <laughs> Cis code. Because there's a bro code, but there's no written Cis code. Uh, truth or dare. Kupal people. Bullshit. We share pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. Two girls. One cup. You should watch the show. That show! Welcome back! Hello! We're back on A- Oh. No, not Ask FM, show. we're back on that show. <laughs> back on something, something, something. Yeah. And we're about to go into our next segment, which is actually, can we talk about the thing I was talking about earlier? When you're in the south, oh, and yeah. you're driving, and there's all those billboards along the side of the road, like the banners that say, Tatay, mag-ingat sa pagmaneho. And like, Nanay, wag mag-makeup habang nagdadrive. Never. Yeah, Daddy, yeah, yeah. wag magbasa ng billboard habang nagdadrive. Like, was, yeah. Billboards are really distracting when you're driving. They are distracting. I thought it was bad to put a billboard like in the middle. Yeah. Bawal na yung that, dapat eh. That's what I heard. Well, they're still up there, yeah. and uh, they're gonna they're cause actually an everywhere. accident. Yeah. Right? Wasn't there like a study before about all the? That's why they reduced all the the number of bench body ads on Edsa. Because it because was it was causing accidents. Yeah. Like you get like Solan there. Yeah, and like, like well, yeah, Solan. It's like ooh, hey, it hey. is true though. Like when I'm driving sometimes and I'm looking at something, I'm like, who is that? And I'm like, yep. oh, yeah. I'm not driving anymore. I'm watching the billboards. I love Solan workout videos. They're like uh, hardcore. They're almost as good as Ellen Nadarna workout videos. <laughs> They're quite good. Oh. Anyway. All right, on. we're going on to our next segment of the show, which is called Tale of the Tape, which is where I pit two things against each other and we decide which one would beat the other. Yep. So we have our first one, which is Ghostbusters versus the real Ghostbusters. Fake Remember Ghostbusters that? versus the real Ghostbusters. Yeah. Fake Ghostbusters? What's that? Because they no, have a monkey. They have a monkey. There, and a talking like, car. The, in, the, in, in, the cartoons came out around the same time. Really? Yeah. There was a fake Ghostbusters? There Basically, was. when Ghostbusters came out, the cartoon, yep. these guys from Filmation were smart and they start, they they bought it for like a cartoon rights and shit like that. They got the name. They got the yeah. name Ghostbusters. And so when the these guys, uh, the one with Egon, Peter Venkman, like the real, Ghostbusters. Yeah. the real Ghostbusters came out, they couldn't use just the plain Ghostbusters. Yep. Wow, that sucks. Uh, I watched both and the real Ghostbusters were better. Yep, Slimer. Yeah. Real Ghostbusters for me too, because I never even knew that Ghostbusters existed. It was a dumb show, it was really. A dumb I show. think the same people who the like. There was like a bad guy too. It wasn't like random ghosts. He looked like the boogeyman, and like it was like a whole <laughs> lot of whatever. But that's kind of like 
mean? They just like did it out of spite and then they did a terrible they, cartoon. No, they, they wanted to cash in. They wanted in. to cash in. Uh, on uh, the whole Ghostbusters so, you know, thing. Back in the 80s, like, oh, Ghostbusters cartoons, let's watch it. And it's not he, Ghostbusters. The, their song oh, even went like, Ghost, Ghost, Ghostbusters. Yeah. It didn't even sound like, who you gonna call? That was a that was a good that, that was, was the a, real yeah. Ghostbusters theme song. That was still a good, that's a good theme song. Yeah. yeah, see, so the real Ghostbusters won anyway because they did better. They yep. did better, and they they were actually the characters from the movie. Yeah, yeah. those guys. Yeah, the real Ghostbusters win. Next, crying. Chris Aquino versus crying, crying Oprah. Oprah. Is it true that Oprah is suing her? I have no idea. No, 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 no. I think that's like fake. a fake. Whatever. I hope she does though. That's like a fake thing. Yeah. Uh, crying Chris Aquino versus Crying Oprah. Who's faking it? I, I don't know. Crying Oprah's black. And she probably grew up in poverty in the streets, so she knows how to fight. Whereas... Crying Chris was like the daughter of, the, of an ex-president. Yeah. Ex-pres- who, who did she have to fight? Renée de Castas? Or something like that. Yeah. Uh, right. I in think a f- Crying Oprah wins. Yeah. In a fight? I yeah, I yeah. think Crying Oprah, Oprah wins. would win. She's I bit. think that people would be more sympathetic with crying Oprah. She's also bigger. Yeah. She, totally she could probably smother She'd Chris probably with, her, sit on uh, her, with then, her bat wings. And win. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Next. Next up, we have pre... Good Times with Momo. <laughs> Young Mo Twister versus Jonathan. Although that actually could have been taken yesterday. To be quite fair, yeah, Mo true. still looks like that. Yeah, he does. He does. He hasn't changed. <laughs> yeah, wow. I don't think he is. He's still the Backstreet Boy. Yeah. <laughs> that, that is a huge jacket. Uh, oh my goodness, he looks like such a teeny bopper in that picture. That's a. He's like, that's a big jacket. He's like stuck in the nineties. Is that like? Mom, what this. are you doing though? What is that? Are you crying in your beer? No, I think I was uh, angry crying. Like Where did I was, you get that picture? I, yeah, I don't Facebook know page. what event this was, <laughs> but I was probably... I'm not crying because I'm sad, no. see? But I think that was the Dashboard <laughs> concert. Ah, Dashboard concert. I was emoing it up, and I was drunk and angry. Yeah. Uh-huh. And it was a good show. In a fight? Mm, no, that there was a floor there that I photoshopped out of it. Yeah. I, I, oh no! I, no, I mean, who would win oh, in a in fight? fight? Three good times with Momo, or Jonathan? Dude, Jonathan picked the fight with a dog. So. Um... <laughs> Jonathan also needs me to ha- help him when he gets in fights. Yeah. Though. Jonathan I, I don't doesn't know. know his own strength. Yeah, but la- you, or lack thereof. You'd be too drunk to fight properly, I think. I, I don't think he would know who Mo was at I, that point I, in time I, either. I think he'd be like, oh, "Bitch that punching and shit, man." Fuck. Uh, Disco punch. The disco punch? Bitch fighting. Oh. <laughs> All right. Uh, so who wins? Pre good time with Momo or that's Jonathan? A, well, let's see. I, is there any real difference between uh, current good times with Mo Mo? No, no kids. No kids and whatever. Oh, you're talking about like way ni- 90s yeah. era Mo Twister. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like like Mo Twister just arriving in the Philippines. Mo Twister. The guy's Jeez. a pussy, man. I still say Jonathan just because he'd probably kick that beer can into Mo's head, which is what he did at that concert we were at that <laughs> one time, and probably knock him out. So I'm saying Jonathan. But if the question were how, yeah. um, how many uh, chicks this guy could fuck, Mo. I think Mo, Mo would win. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. sorry, sorry, dude. I, I don't get a hit rate. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my goodness me, yeah, Jonathan I don't think gets laid at all. Does no, he ever no, get laid? No, not at all. No, he he gets so. laid by accident. In a violent way, yeah. <laughs> and he much. sticks it in the ass by mistake. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. All right, so that was the other challenge. How many do we have? That was it? That's three, yeah. All right, so what are we doing next? We got a would you rather from a, from a fan. Okay, so here we go. Would you rather have an orgy with the Super Friends or with the Avengers? Each member takes turns on you guys and can be massively destructive if they wanted to be. Crap. Um, uh, crap. Wait. I'm trying to think okay. about the members of each group so that I know which one would be. Uh, super Friends. Wait. The super, Avengers super has Thor in it, right? Yeah. Yay! The Avengers, Avengers also have the Hulk. Yeah. Oh. You, you really want to get banged Torn by the Hulk? By Damn. The Hulk. Ah. See, it's either you getting like jackhammered by the Hulk uh-huh. or getting jackhammered by Superman. 
Superman at least yeah, has a normal I mean, yeah, sized dick. Superman at least has control of his like strength and temper. Hulk just right? gets, just gets yeah. angry. Oh, yeah. Hulk smash my face. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, be angry and tear you apart. Uh huh. Uh huh. Plus. What if he started off as what's his name when he's Bruce not? Banner. Yeah. What if he started off as Bruce Banner and then hulked in and the then middle? And he grew and then tore and you like down the middle. Exactly, ripped you apart. He would tear you apart. Yeah. Yeah. If he was up your butt, then you would be so screwed, literally and figuratively. Yeah, that would not be good. Mm -hmm. So we're saying super friends. Probably. Probably. The Although super I think friends. Black Widow would be a better lay than uh, Wonder, Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. Yeah. Actually, I think you're right. Yeah. Because she is. An she's, Amazon. she's probably fidget. She's Russian. She probably works at uh, yeah. Starwood. <laughs> Starwood. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, if you're banging in the invisible plane, everybody can see you. I think that's the point, though. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we're going to go. Well, would you rather another one? Do you have one? Um, the, yeah, I guess so. Okay. For, uh, this is for you, Kat. Okay. You're, there are a bunch of conditions. Uh -huh. So you're in Lebo Okay. Um, the only thing you have to wear is a micro bikini, uh -huh. which is a, uh, you, you know, you know what a micro bikini is, like right? Like teeny bikini? It's like, yeah, it's like, it's, you Barely see everything. Uh -huh. like, like even the, the bikini thing that covers your thing, yep. it just really basically just covers your clit. Just covers the line. Yeah. Okay. Just the line. Just the line. Like you're gonna land. Yeah, but you can see like, like everything else. Like yeah. The, like patin like, gilet? Yeah, yeah, you can see like that. it's like I have a landing strip, but I'm wearing it. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Or Chris Aquino's face. What? With the new haircut? Yeah. Would I rather wear that or her face? Yeah. That's a really odd would you rather. I think I would go with the mini bikini. Like, really? Yeah. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Party time. I think yeah. I would. Mm -hmm. Go right. with the mini bikini. Uh, I got a would you rather. Mm -hmm. What is it? Would you rather um, get like a free lay? From like a, a ten, okay. Once a year, okay. Or have the weird power to bang nothing but uh, threes and fours, just like that. So you could bang any time. Like bang three and three or four. I want a club. Hey, you're kind of ugly. She'll bang me. <laughs> it's an instant. Oh my goodness. Any time. Any time. Or have one random lay with a ten. With a ten per year, once a year, and then you get you don't get any sex for the rest of the year. Can I still masturbate? Yeah, you can. I guess. I'll take the quality over quantity. <laughs> quality over quantity. H how often? Like it's just like once. Once a like, year. But once or like once a whole day of once. Yeah. Once, like once, literally. Like, if you come, like, like, if like, you come in like five minutes, maybe I haven't had you sex hit your, in a year. You hit your quota. Oh shit! Wait. That's it. Three or four fours are like, you go to a club, yeah. three or four, boom. Three or four, come here. Three or four, come here. Come can here, you come get here. multiple three or fours at the yes, same time? Yes, you can. You can get laid by like a bunch of ugly chicks. So Ten three or fours. So can fours. I get like, yeah. Technically, that's a 40. That you, is 40. If you, <laughs> if you add a couple of threes, it's still not a 10. Yeah. <laughs> it's not multiple. Three threes is not a, not, no. not a nine. No. Yeah. Uh, although it should be. <laughs> that's a lot of boobs, though. Six mm, boobs. But like threes? Quality, man, like ugly yeah. fucking threes. One of them is like a total retard. Yeah. <laughs> With a hair lip. Just so happened to be kind of like three looking. With a hair lip and missing the <laughs> two front teeth. But she's like a model. <laughs> for ugly people. A model for ugly people. <laughs> so wait, quality over quantity? I would go quality over quantity, right. I think. Quality. Quality? How quality. about you? Would you quality. bang all of them? Nah. Quality. Quality. I don't, I don't bang ugly chicks, man. Okay, right. I have a would you rather. Okay. Would you rather be a guy with a vagina, so like everything else is guy and you want to be with women, but you have a vagina. Am I like a superior male? Like I'm John Hall. I'm John, John Hall. Hall with a 12 inch vagina. <laughs> I'm John Hall, but I'm, I've got a, like a vagina. And let's say you're like a, you're like a John Lloyd. John Lloyd. Chicks like John Lloyd, right? Screw it. Right? <laughs> right? I just want to talk about this thing. Uh, John Lloyd revealed his body. And? Finally. And? I am like underwhelmed. <laughs> <laughs> so, so underwhelmed. What were you about... expecting? The dude's pudgy. No, but I was expecting like Century Tuna Beach Bods. And, what, what and in Baraka, he Buffed took off out. his shirt. He was like wearing a sando. Okay, fine. 
he says he wasn't ready, whatever, the host, Ann Curtis said, uh, cut the moment because he was waiting for more people Wait, to cheer for why him. Why are you watching this? I was watching it because I was curious. Okay. <laughs> and then, um, he really likes it. Yeah, he really likes it. And then <laughs> he's like, uh, I saw like a clip from like abscbn.com or something like He's like shooting something like, a, uh, it, I think it's a shoot for like Century Tuna. And he's like got the smallest dumbbells in the world. And he's like, <laughs> with the pudgiest thing. Partida. Naka makeup na yung katawan nun, man. Probably. I'm like, oh my God. The and stuff. That's the big reveal? Oh, what's happening here, guys? <laughs> Although on the billboard he looks good. What? He was covered. No, the new one. The like, the, the new picture. Oh, that was probably like, Photoshop. They photoshopped that shit. That guy get, cannot get abs in like six weeks, really. <laughs> All right, so wait. That's not the would you rather. Would you what? rather be a guy with a vagina or a girl with a deke? A girl, girl with, with a dick? dick? <laughs> yes. With a dick? Yes. With a dick. Shite. Uh, am, as a girl, am I banging girls or am I banging guys? I don't know. I guess you'd be banging guys. So you're a girl and you're straight, but you have a penis. Oh, fuck. Or fuck, you could wait, be a wait. guy, but you have a vagina and you want to bang girls. On equal levels of hotness. Yeah. Like if I were like a hot guy with a vagina or, or a, a hot, hot girl, girl with, with a, a big dick. dick. Yes. Okay, we can go with that. What should you rather be? I would rather be a girl with a big dick, and I would probably use it on other girls. Really? Yeah. What do you want, boys? Yeah. You're not attracted uh, to so girls. I'm, yeah. I'm not attracted. No. Mm. I would try to bang guys yeah. with my big dick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is good, a good question. One, huh? yeah, I like um, this I'm one. S- yeah. I'm stumped. <laughs> okay, I would try to look for a girl who kind of swings in a weird way. Uh huh. I would be a guy with a vagina and she would lick my vagina. <laughs> See, I would probably be a guy with a vagina too. It's just the whole scissoring thing. That <laughs> I, I don't I, get I how don't, it works. It's angles. It's like, how, how do you get in there properly? Is it, is it like, like that? Yeah. And, and then what? And then what do you shake like that or do you rub? Do you, or? do you go like this or do you go like that? Or are you just trying or to do, you just try do, that? do this? It's a shame that our friends, the lesbians, aren't here. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> any, if any lesbians who scissor can kindly explain, explain yes, this to please, us send to me, us like, in um, how it works exactly. Does, is it like, like this rubbing like that? Yeah. I don't even know what that is. It looks no, like I mean, that yeah, thing where you do that, that thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But yeah. see, if it's, if it's not like this, and it, if it's not like, uh, like that, is it like a thing? Is yeah, it like, like, is like it how like, do you go? Yeah, I don't know. How do you go? Like, do, you what? Sh- do you shake up? Do you shake down? I have no idea. If you're a lesbian and you've ever scissored with anybody before, or if you're bisexual and never been with a woman and scissored before, please let us know how you do it. I would like to know. Yes, we're we very We should curious. have an extra sexments next week, just we for should. fun, and talk about scissoring. We should. How next week, that? we're doing sexments. Yeah, the scissoring. return of sexments. So you would both be a girl with a vagina? Yeah. Just because I would like to bang name. girls. To bang girls. <laughs> do I, do I, do I, do I have to like shave my vagina or, or can I go like <laughs> can I grow it all out? Can I go bush? Well, if you did go bush, you yeah, Basti'd like it. Yeah. If, <laughs> if I were a uh, would I wear a strap on? I'd okay. go, if, I would totally grow like a big bush and kind of wear a strap on so I could fake my dick. Oh okay, yeah, wait, wait. If you're a guy with a vagina, do you wear panties or do you wear do you wear boxers? Boxers for in, bro. <laughs> what if it was my period? <laughs> oh, no, <but> no. <laughs> All right, guys, we gotta go into a break. It's complicated. Oh, I'll be back right after this. <laughs> I totally finger my. Um, two girls, one cup. I heard there was this video going around on the internet some years ago. Um, because we're two girls, me and Nicole, and a cup where we get all our toppings from the cup. It's not lustful. <laughs> the show is about shoes, bags, friends, girlfriends, gossip, current events, everyday life. I don't know. Dicks on my head, apparently. <laughs> and, and the dick on Nicole's head. Um, we got a segment called Let's Be Honest. Would you do whoever? Would you do Max Eigenmans? I would. <laughs> Cis code. Because there's a bro code, but there's no written Cis code. Uh, truth or dare. Kupal people. Bullshit. We share pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. Two girls, one cup. 
You should watch the show. Hi. They say nothing in this world is free, and for the most part, that's true. But here at NMF Network, all shows are indeed 100% free. And as an added feature, you have the option to subscribe to all your favorite programs, also at no charge. Why should you subscribe? By subscribing, you no longer have the hassle of delays when you stream the program. You also don't need to keep checking our site to see if your favorite programs are up because they'll automatically be uploaded to your device as soon as it's available. Here's how to do it. First, open iTunes. Your next step, hit the iTunes Store button. A search bar should open up as soon as you do that. Type New Media Factory in the search bar and all your shows should open. Pick the show you like or all the shows you like. And once that opens, hit the subscribe button. And that's it, you're in. All shows will now be automatically downloaded to your device. That show! And Bob. we're back. We're Welcome back, back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to that show. And now we have another segment for you. We call this one The Puppet Show. Yay. 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 All right, so how this works this week is uh, since I'm here and Bassi's not. Oh, what happened there? I just saw boobs. Can we, can we flip back? What boobs? Can we go back to the boobs? What boobs? Boobs! Yay. 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 All right. Um, I will be um, giving Sib and Cat situations to play act with their puppets who are named um, Roscoe. No? What is your puppet's name? Wally. What's what? your puppet's name? What's your puppet's name? Crap, I forgot. No, oh, shit. Uh, I forget. Yeah. I know Basti's was like Sancho. Mine is like, uh, no, 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 it's, it's, it's Dick. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. It's Richard. Richard. It's Richard. Richard. Okay. Richard. So anyway, so for the first one, uh, Sib and Cat are married. All right. And, um. Mm. But not in real life. <laughs> 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 and Sib's puppet finds out that Cat's puppet has... Um, what? No butthole. Uh, and scene. Okay. You're not oh. face there. <laughs> so, Han, how are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? Well, uh, I just wanted to talk about something. Mm -hmm. um, thanks for breakfast, by the way. It was really good. You're welcome. I uh, managed to cook it with my butt. Oh, yeah. That's exactly what I want to talk about. Um, you, you want to talk about my butt or breakfast? Um, I, breakfast was great and all, but, um, you know, like last night, uh, we were like, uh, yo, hanging out, and then one thing led to another. And, um, well, uh, basically, uh, I want to try some, try, I want to try something new. What do you want to try? You want to try, um, a did, uh, butt rubbing? We did, like, a doggy. We did, like, 69. We did that thing where you're, uh... You want to have sex with the doggy? No, 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 doggy style, and your knees oh. are in your chest, everything okay. like that. Mm -hmm, and, uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm trying to clean the dishes, but, you know, keep, uh, keep talking. I, I noticed kind of, something kind of weird, cause uh... Why? Did my vagina smell? No, yeah, it smelled great! It smelled like uh, hot white rice! Oh, and, um, well that's good. I, I'm trying out a new vagina wash that I bought today. So, is it know. the kind of lactacid that makes it white? Yeah, white rice flavored wash. Okay, so um... I wanted to make things interesting and uh... Well... I plugged it in once up there, then I... Wanted to plug it in down there and uh, where? I don't know what you're talking about. You know how you got like two holes? It's like one <laughs> hole up there and then the other one's down there. Where? What? 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 How many holes are you talking about? Uh, I have two holes. One yeah. for peeing and one for sexing. Oh well, uh, you got the sexing hole, and I'm pretty sure you can pee. But uh, I always wondered. 
I couldn't stick my, uh, I couldn't do it in the butt. What? What? Well, what? Where would you do it in the butt in the first place? I, I wanted to practice That's... family planning, and uh, I thought that the best way to do it was like to do it in the butt. Well, how would you ever do it in the butt? I mean, that's two cheeks. There's no hole there for you to have that's sex That's exactly with. what I'm talking about. There was like, uh, where does it go? I mean, you eat, and then where does it go? What do you mean, where does it go? Yeah. yeah in eat? my stomach, silly. Didn't you ever go to biology oh. class? Where does it come out? I mean, so, uh, was, Come out? It? Yeah, I think you eat something. It should come out somewhere. Who, where? No, it doesn't. It just stays in your body. Uh, cause I wanna kind of I want I wanna try sticking it in your butt, but it wasn't there. Why did? What if I try and stick it in your butt? Would it go in your butt? Yeah, I guess so, cause I I, I have a hole down there. I was at, I what? Was, you have a hole down there? Why didn't you tell anybody? We should see a doctor about that. That's oh. a serious problem. You have a hole in your butt. Yeah, I guess we should both see the doctor and uh, determine who really has a problem here. Because <laughs> the uh, big question is, where does it really go? Well, your penis? Uh, food and shit. <laughs> you want to stick food and shit in your penis? Uh, yeah, we should probably see a doctor. <laughs> and see. And see. <laughs> Do Arm's tired. Okay, let's... That, <laughs> Switch it up a little bit. Okay, Th this next. time, Cat is the boy okay. and uh, Sib is the girl. Right. Okay. And um, Cat's puppet wants to I give. Stuff. So silly. <laughs> wants to give Sib's puppet uh, a cream pie, uh, but he doesn't know how to ask. For uh, oh, okay. I like this. And I like this. Start scene. Right. <clears throat> Hi, baby. Hi, how you doing? Uh, I've been looking for you all day. You're looking I, really good. Have you been working out? I have, actually. I've been looking well, extra hot for you, baby, just for you. Oh, oh, thank you so much. Now, you know, I was thinking, you like pie, right? I, I, I love pie. I, I'm not talking about the math pie, either. I'm talking I about like, pies. I like a uh, walnut pie. I like a... Uh, Lemon cream pie. Oh, cream pie. See, that's a good kind of pie. Cream pie. You like cream, right? I, I, I do like cream. It's, uh, it's bad for my cholesterol, but uh, I think it doesn't harm my body. Well, when was the last time you ate any cream? Uh, maybe yesterday I was, uh, maybe I was on my cheat day. I ate some cream off a cupcake. Well, today I wanted us to be able to make our own cream pie. How does that sound to you? Oh, well, I did, a cu I did take a couple of culinary lessons, so I think I could swing it. Uh, I could uh, probably do some uh, baking. Uh, see, the thing is, we would have to bake it in your oven. I do have an oven at home, but it's not... No, no, your oven, the one that you bring around with you all the time. Like the one in my car? No, the <laughs> one uh, in your vagina. Oh, oh my oven. Um. Yep, I would like for us to bake a cream pie in your vagina. Well, I'm, well, well I was raised Catholic and everything, and I, 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 I reckon I don't know anything like that. Well, I could teach you. See, all it really takes is my penis has all the ingredients inside of it, and all I need to do oh. is make sure I stir it right, and then all the ingredients will come out into your vagina, and we'll make a pie. Like whipping some cream? And like stuff? whipping some cream, exactly, baby. Are you down? Will it get me pregnant if you do nah. a cream pie? Nah, you won't get pregnant, baby. Oh, uh, uh, all right. I think I'm okay with that idea. That's great. Let's go do it now. End scene. <laughs> I like how your girl puppet is it's southern. southern. <laughs> I was channeling Rogue from X-Men. I reckon. <laughs> I reckon. And I like that you both have the same 
same voice. <laughs> I know, right? The, uh, the metrosexual and, puppets. I'll try and do Rogue from X Men. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So I'll yeah. try Gambit next week. <laughs> oh, the Cajun. The Cajun. All right. Did you like that? Did you like the, the coercion it's kinda, of the girl It's kind of weird device? playing the girl yeah. for once. <laughs> I noticed. I, I, I didn't know what to do. Usually I'm used to sticking it and giving it like a man, but... You're not used to taking it? Yeah, dude. Not used to taking not it. Not at all. In the vagina. All right. Ooh. Oh. All righty, guys. Oh. Uh, well, we have been on the show long enough. We got to go and get out yep. of here. If you want to message us, though, please do at that show PH on Facebook. Right the page is that show PH. If you want to send us an Ask FM question, please do that. Ask FM. Yeah. And uh, as much as possible, don't ask us would you rather. If you want to do that, tweet us your would you rather. So this camera. Absolutely. Because yeah. uh, you're just wasting valuable space on Ask. Yeah. Yes. Send us your ask. As if we don't have enough space on Ask. Yeah. It's a lot of things yeah, to sift yeah. through. Makes my life easier. Yeah. Luis is lazy. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you all again next week with Basti. Hopefully, we'll see you then, guys. Bye. The views and opinions expressed on any program are those of the persons appearing on the program and do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of the New Media Factory. Some programs on this network might include strong images and language and may not be suitable for all audiences. Viewer discretion is advised.